In sleep paralysis, you can't move, speak, or escape. Many people hear strange noises, see demons, and sometimes are physically attacked by them in real life. But can sleep paralysis hurt you? And have people died from it? This video will explain everything, including all the proof we have behind these crazy stories. You'll want to watch until the end because this video is insane. Can sleep paralysis kill you? Let's find out. These scary stories are not normal. For most people, including myself, sleep paralysis is a completely harmless experience, but not for everyone. On the internet, you can find tons of close calls with these sleep paralysis demons and other entities. I've personally talked to people who have gone through some pretty terrifying things in sleep paralysis. Make no mistake, it definitely can happen. But terrifying experiences can easily be prevented. At the end of the video, I will give you three steps to escaping sleep paralysis and turning it into a lucid dream. A dream where you are fully aware and can do anything. You'll want to know these steps because sleep paralysis can happen to you any night. This knowledge will be the difference between a scary experience and having one of the best dreams of your life. Anyways, let's get started with a simple question. Can sleep paralysis give you pain? The answer to this is yes. There are people all around the world who have felt pain in sleep paralysis, including myself. But how is this possible? First, let's look at the story by Anonymous. They describe feeling actual burning pain in their right arm, but this next part is even more interesting. I had a visual hallucination of hands coming up from under my bed and clenching around where the pain was emanating from in my arm. It felt like a cramp, a bruise, and burning. It was quite scary and painful. Ended up being one of those sleep paralysis experiences where I couldn't just calm down and breathe. When they did wake up, they checked their arm and there were no bruises. They mentioned how the pain might have been caused by lying on their arm for too long. But still, the pain was intense. I don't know if you remember the last time you laid down on your arm, but that kind of pain doesn't happen normally. But this next story is very convincing. I experienced sleep paralysis many times. The first time, I was really scared. But after figuring out what was happening, I was able to calm down. The first time I got scared again was when the element of pain was introduced. True physical pain. There was someone digging into my back, my spine to be exact. It felt like it got to the bone already, but it wouldn't stop. I couldn't breathe because the pain was so intense. This was the first and only time I felt true pain during sleep paralysis. Now, they give no explanation why this pain happened, besides just being in sleep paralysis. And because I have felt pain in this state before, and in lucid dreams, I would say it is 100% possible. But can sleep paralysis physically hurt you and affect your real life body? The answer to that is... Well, let's look at one more story. This person had sleep paralysis, but unlike previous experiences, something was different. Very different. A shadow man appeared in her room, came up to her and started to tighten her clothes, to the point where her ribs felt like they were cracking. The crazy part is, when she woke up, her ribs still hurt. In fact, they hurt all day, even while she was writing this post. However, if sleep paralysis had a real danger of hurting people and damaging their bodies, I feel like it would be all over the news. Sleep paralysis is uncommon. So that might be why doctors aren't freaking out, but I find it hard to believe something that only takes place in your mind can hurt you in real life, especially since it has never happened to me. After all, sleep paralysis is natural. It happens every night, so it's highly unlikely it will hurt you physically. That being said, terrifying experiences in sleep paralysis can and will hurt you mentally, if you allow them to or are not prepared. So, the next time you find yourself literally paralyzed in your sleep, think happy thoughts. And also use the steps at the end of this video. Now it's time for me to answer the question you came here for. Can sleep paralysis kill you? Yes. But wait, before you put down your croissant and start typing an angry comment, yes, 
Sleep paralysis can be fatal, but not in the way you think. See, you can't move. So, if an earthquake happens and your house starts to collapse, sleep paralysis will kill you. Just not directly. Also, the odds of this happening are like one in a billion. Unless you live in California. Then you should be worried. All jokes aside, sleep paralysis by itself is not fatal. You will live to see another day. In fact, sleep paralysis is a good thing because in a few simple steps, it can be turned into a lucid dream. If you don't know these steps, you risk having a scary experience or at the very least being stuck paralyzed in your bed. But don't worry, I'm gonna tell you right now how to escape sleep paralysis. So listen closely. Step one, close your eyes if you can and relax. Do not be afraid or else your thoughts will spiral out of control and trust me, you don't want that to happen. Step two, imagine a blank white canvas in front of your eyes, kind of like the one in the Matrix movie. Now, start building a dream scene from scratch. You can create any environment you want, like a beach, a park, anything. The key to doing this is to have a good imagination, and you can have a better imagination if you play on our Minecraft server, lucid-craft.com. But anyways, build the scene, engage all your senses, this will only take a few minutes. Step 3. In whatever scene you created, imagine that you're standing there. If you do this properly, you will shift from being paralyzed in your bed to standing in a fully blown lucid dream. Lucid dreaming is like Minecraft creative mode. You can literally do and create anything you want. I have videos on the best things to do in lucid dreams, and if you don't know how to lucid dream, I have tutorials on that too. This is probably the coolest skill you can learn, so go watch those videos right now.